We have six months left, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. I'm Mercedes and in today's video, I'm going to be restarting, doing a mid-year check-in, deep cleaning my house because it is very much needed and learning to let go and let God. I'm trying to make the last six months of this year the best. The first six months started off great and then it got a little rough for me and that is nobody's fault but my own. Sometimes we have to let go and let God and stop trying to be in control of every single thing. Sometimes over planning can be just as bad as not planning at all. So I'm just in a space of taking it easy on myself but getting back on track trying to reach my goals trying to get disciplined so we're going to be resetting you guys i'm going to be taking you along the journey i'm going to be doing some cleaning around my house because it so badly needs it i'm going to be cleaning out my car because oh i'm i'm embarrassed <laughs> i'm embarrassed of how my car looks and then we'll get into the goal setting we'll go back and revisit my prayer board vision board all of that stuff in today's vlog so i hope you guys stick around and watch it all the way through because i have so much valuable information that i want to share with you guys in today's video so let's get into it he said this is flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone she shall be called woman it was all woman when you saw me Real people in this room Soften up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand, and don't believe a lie, you understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of the feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch and see Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Great is the one within I call the natural leader Teach her how to hold her pretty in the blue sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer To take her Every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is what we come in Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on a cold day Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than you You, 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 you And I still pray Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah Cause I would rather be, rather be running away I would rather be, rather be running Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away
so hot out here. And I have on a long sleeve shirt and jeans. But I'm on my way back home. Chicago Sky is about to play, so me and Malaya are going to relax for a little bit and then I'm going to start deep cleaning my house. So I'll check in once we get back. Hey y'all, so I just made it back to the house. I'm gonna show you guys what we got from, well, what I got from the grocery store. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Walmart. It's so hot, I can't even think. Okay, um, so I got Clorox because we need to bleach the house down. I know, and I like using these to clean my baseboard, so I just got those. And then I got some more of this stuff. Comet, Ajax, same thing. You know, and then I got some pine saw because I seen on TikTok if you use this on your patio, then the flies won't bother you're trying to come in your back door. So I got some of that, and then you guys, I got some hair stuff. So I'm thinking about dyeing my hair light. It says the light is golden blonde. I mean, golden brown. Oops, sorry. So, I'm thinking about going brown, y'all. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. But I got the hair dye. You know, I need a change. So, I got this because I'm going to braid my lights here. And then I got us some leave-in, Neo leave-in. So, um, the rest of the stuff is just Malai likes these things. So, I got her two of those. And then I got some popcorn chicken and I got some wings because I ain't going nowhere else. It's hot out there. And then, y'all, I read Legendborn and I finally seen Bloodmark. So I picked up this book because I already read part one. So now I got to read part two. And then every time I get a book, I give Malaya a book because I want her to fall in love with reading like me. And I got her this book blended. It was on sale for $7.18. So I was like, this looks cute. Hopefully she'll read it. But that's what I got. I'm about to go and watch the game for a little bit. And then we're going to get to clean it. She 
day I've mowed the lawn I just did the front yard so I have to do the backyard I cleaned like the main areas of my house living room kitchen entry hallway I've done laundry and I'm just waiting on my comforters to come out of the dryer so I can make my bed I am going to vacuum my carpet and I have to clean my primary bathroom because I already sprayed it down with the chemicals I'm not gonna vlog that just because I don't like cleaning the bathroom in the first place and I just I'm I'm tired y'all I'm tired of moving this camera around <laughs> I'm exhausted so I am going to clean my bathroom vacuum my carpet get in the shower and settle down for the night Good morning guys. I know, I know, I look crazy. I'm sorry <laughs> for coming on camera looking like this. But I woke up, I wasn't feeling too good. I just made us something to eat to hopefully like help with this headache on this side. But I'm about to dye my hair y'all. I just I can't I can't with this. Like it's giving me nothing. So I'm just trying to dye my hair brown. And as you can see. I cut it I did I just I just went through and cut off some of the long pieces I still have to cut it some more but I'm gonna dye it and see if I can get a curl pattern a little better so I can chop off my hair now the only thing is trying to chop off all the heat damage I can't because I would have to chop it off to like this and I'm not doing it but as you can see y'all my hair is brown but it's like really dark brown if it's not in like the light if the sun's not hitting it it's dark brown but if the sun's hitting it it gives like a little cinnamon brown so I'm not trying to go like super light or anything I'm just trying to dye it brown just because I'm tired of the the black hair it makes me look pale and I'm not trying to look pale in the summer I'm trying to look like I got a tan and I don't know y'all some like when I'm trying to like feel good about myself pick me upper my hair it it, it be taking me out because I don't I've never really learned my hair even when I was on a hair growth journey it just my hair damage is so easy like I could flat out my hair one time for the whole year and it'll be heat damaged right here this part of my hair it just never truly holds a curl and that can be because I put it in a ponytail so much I don't know I really don't I'm just saying but no new start new me so I cut my hair and now I'm about to dye it okay because I need to pick me up her and this this it's just not doing it for me it's not so we're about to dye it I don't know how it's gonna come out I'm gonna start at the back of my hair and I don't like to do my roots until the last minute because I feel like your roots always take pretty quickly but I don't believe I've dyed my hair in a while so I feel like they should be okay but I don't know but anyways I cut it and I'm gonna of course like fix it because it's so uneven now once I curl it I mean well like see what it looks like after the hair dye if that makes sense
guys, so it's not a big difference. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's just, it's looking red. It's giving red, and it's supposed to be giving brown, but it's just a little lighter, which I kind of like. It's not so bold black, but I don't know what I'm about to do with it now. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's giving... It's still giving when the light hits it, it's lighter. I think that's just brown in general, like. But I do have a lot of heat damage and on my hair, so I don't know what I'm gonna do to bring it back to life, but we're gonna be doing a lot of protective styles. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Gotta style it first. For the morning, I spent most of my morning reading, but I just wanted to come check in, say good morning. I have some more stuff I need to do um, before I finish my mid-year reset. So I'm about to get up and go check on my garden, fold some clothes that I need to fold, and then I am going to start work. And then I'll come back later. I feel a lot better. The headache is not um, bothering me anymore. So, yeah, sometimes you just gotta wait. Yesterday, today, I let him hold my hand and I follow all his plans. Sometimes I don't understand, but to trust is what I can do. Cause he made me new and he gave me two things I used to do that I shouldn't do. All of them he took. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah, No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you no more walking by the flesh. That's when I leave. Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So finally I can sit down and breathe. I've cleaned up and I've tidied up the house as you guys seen throughout the vlog. And now it's time to focus in on what I want for the remainder of this year. We have six months left, y'all. That's cool. We are already halfway through this year. At the beginning of the year, I set these big goals for myself like I always do. Nothing new. Excuse the flies, y'all. I can't I can't get rid of them. I've been killing flies. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Every time I open my door, the flies come in. Welcome to Texas. But I am... I'm still focused. I feel like this second quarter, I fell off. Even though it's still second quarter, but the first two months of the second quarter, I was not feeling it. I did not do well, which is sticking to some of the goals that I have for myself, sticking to my savings, my budget. I, w I just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I'm trying to bring it on back. 
I'm not being hard on myself. I'm trying not to stress myself out about the things that I cannot change. <laughs> so with that said, y'all, I have a couple of goals in regards to my personal goals, my spiritual goals, my business goals, and my finance goals. So we are going to talk about personal goals first. At the beginning of the year, I did a breakdown of each quarter and I set goals within that quarter, small goals to get me to the end goal at the end of the year. Those goals I met some of them and then some of them I just completely fell off like saving for a car I have not been saving for a car saving for what else was I supposed to be saving for I think it was just the car but I was supposed to be doing something else in regards to finance and I I haven't been that's the reality I've been trying to pay off debt but I've been getting nowhere <laughs> y'all it's it's crazy i think that i have to get disciplined so i have to start with some different goals for myself some different personal goals as far as my mental health making sure that i'm not stressing myself out but at the same time i need to get disciplined and don't get me wrong i consider myself a very disciplined person like I'm not gonna go out and party and buy a round of drinks for friends knowing I got bills due no but in a sense that I need to get disciplined outside of the things that I already do like yes I pay my bills on time I make sure things get taken care of but then Instead of putting this money towards debt, i rather spend it on some food, eating out or something. That's the kind of discipline I need. I need to be able to tell myself, yes, it's good that you paid all your bills on time and all that. But you also got this debt that you need to take care of. And I know you want to reward yourself. But right now, you got, you got other problems you need to take care of so the reward will come later that's the type of discipline I need okay so I need to be disciplined I also need to be consistent I need to be consistent with my work from YouTube from just being a organized person cleaning I need to get on a schedule I need to make sure that my home is clean because I cannot function and I don't want to do anything when my home is not clean. So be disciplined, be disciplined, be consistent. And another personal goal I have is less talking and more doing. Because I will sit in front of this camera and tell y'all, oh, y'all, I'm going to save. I'm going to pay off debt. I'm going to um, save for a new car. I'm going to just do it at this point less talking more doing those are my personal goals I know they sound a little crazy but rock with me understand those are my personal goals for this month and the rest of this quarter of course more goals will come up as we go through the remainder of these months and I do my monthly resets but for the remainder of this year I need to be disciplined I need to be consistent and I need to do less talking and more doing okay and I also want to read more. I fell off with my reading and I don't know. I like reading. I don't know why I fell off. I just I got into a funk these last two months and I just haven't been reading. I'll show you guys at the end of the video what books I plan to read. Spiritually, I want to read my Bible more because I've fallen off a little bit when it comes to reading my bible I want to be able to read it every single day and I just haven't been doing that and honestly sometimes I tell myself I need to get up and read my bible and I won't do it I won't do it and, th and that tells me that I'm not mentally strong as I need to be so read my bible more I want to start back journaling because I haven't been journaling either y'all probably like girl what you been doing nothing nothing I can't tell you in that garden that's what I've been doing when garden season started I started to fall off and I want to complete a 72 hour fast 
so I'm not gonna do too much talking about that I just want to do it I don't know when I'm gonna do it but I want to do it this month and I'm probably gonna do it on a weekend so like a Friday Saturday Sunday that way I don't have to worry about work and all that and being on my phone or anything like that but yeah I want to do a 72 hour fast and then I do want to get better with my prayers just like from anything from waking up in the morning going to sleep at night praying over my food I want to get better in prayer a lot of times I don't know what it is but I feel scared that I may be saying the wrong thing or I'm gonna say the wrong thing so I either keep it short and sweet or when I try to you know make it longer sometimes it don't be making sense so I just I gotta get better in my prayer my finance goals <laughs> y'all I always have a list of finance goals but guess what not today my finance goal is to not stress about money do not stress about money I wish y'all could be a fly on my wall and I say I don't stress or I don't worry but sometimes I do sometimes I do I can't look I, I don't know what it is it's, it's not that I worry or stress about it it's just that if something changes like my insurance went up for my home like $900 y'all and I cried because I'm like, what? Even though I didn't shop around or nothing yet, I just had to get the crying out the way. Because <laughs> it's just like, why? Why is this life? Like, what is this life? Everything is money, 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 money. But yeah, don't stress about finances. That's my finance goal. That's it. That's all. My business goals. YouTube. I'm... I'm a full-time content creator. I don't care. I'm a full-time content content creator. I'm speaking it. I'm putting it into the universe. There it is. But I want to do my 25K giveaway. Yay, we got 25K on YouTube. Super excited because your girl been at it for a while. And I know 25K is not a lot too many, but if you know, you know. That's crazy. That's wow. I started from zero. Zero. You know, the girls, they be having following on Instagram. They be having a following on Snapchat. They be having a following on TikTok. That was never my reality. So to go from zero to 25K, even though it took me a long time, <laughs> I'm still grateful. I'm still happy. I'm still thankful. So I'm going to be doing a 25K giveaway. I just don't know what. Comment down below. Give me some ideas. And then I want to post at least once a week. I'm not going to overextend myself. I know I'm a full-time content creator. But I got to work my way in. Like, I want to provide valuable content. I don't just want to be uploading vlogs to be uploading vlogs and not giving you guys anything. Like, I really want to give valuable content on my channel. I just don't know in what aspect because I don't want to do one video and then y'all expect that type of content from me all the time. Kind of like me having a criminal justice degree, me uploading about that and people subscribe and expecting my channel to be strictly about criminal justice i don't want to limit myself but at the same time i do want to add value on this channel so i also want to gain 150 subscribers by june 30th so i need to gain 150 subscribers by june 30th and then lastly i need 2000 watch time hours how am i going to get this be consistent show up add value and then the subscribers will come and the watch time hours will come that's my thought process all right those are my goals i did do my budget on live so if you tuned into my live thank y'all it was a first i was nervous i was scared i was all of the above but i appreciate y'all interacting and commenting because it helped me feel way more relaxed but um i did my budget on live that live is uploaded you guys can watch it it's not the typical budget that i normally do so don't expect that all right so we got goals and stuff out of the way that's what i got going on for june my mid-year reset is just me 
resetting, getting back focused on just me in general, not going too hard on myself, but still being focused and getting the, and getting the job done. Okay, at the end of the day, get the job done. Don't be too hard on yourself, but still at the same time, go hard. But let's go ahead and get into the books that I'm going to be reading for the month of June. Um, so this one I am currently reading, which is Seven Days in June, because oh, why not? It has June in the title, and it's actually sending me on a roller coaster already. And then the next book that I'll be reading is Bloodmark. This is book two of the Legendborn. That was my first fantasy book. I loved it. And hopefully this book is as good. It's thick, y'all. So I'm just sticking with um whoops. I'm just sticking with these two for the month of June. I'll let you guys know if I like it. So far, I like it. This started off a little slow for me. I was about to give up. And then it just started twisting and turning and sending me on a roller coaster. So we'll see how this one is, if it's as good as the book one we'll see sometimes they don't be but it's okay but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this mid-year reset this june reset mostly a mid-year reset you see me go in deep clean my house because it was definitely needed and yeah i really missed uploading consistently on youtube so i'm definitely gonna come back stronger than ever and let me know in the comment section what i should do for my 25k giveaway bye guys i love you and i appreciate you so much share this video with a friend tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to your girl okay no just kidding no no for real i'm not